very quick reaction video because it's pretty late. Uh, Trevor Bryan versus Dynamite <laughs> Daniel Dubois. Um, look, we all thought that Daniel Dubois was going to win this one. Um, we knew that Trevor Bryan might have some survival skills. We know it's very humid down in Florida, uh, and that could be an issue. They did talk about that, actually. Carl Frampton mentioned that in the commentary. Um, but, you know, so... But uh, we're talking about levels here. Um, and really, Dubois is on a different level to Trevor Bryan. And the thing was, Bryan came in despite, you know... I according to Hatman, he's I, I've not gone through Bok Threat, you know, I, I'm not bothered about it, but um apparently he's fought a cruise rate before, right? Um he came in like twenty pounds heavier than Daniel Dubois. And he did look pretty fleshy, let's be fair. Every time he threw a punch, right, you could see his belly wobbling. So Trevor Bryan, I'm afraid, obviously does not tra take his training that seriously. But anyway, um Daniel Dubar came out jabbing with authority. Basically, you know, he just... He, the first round, he just commanded it with the jab. He was kind of throwing this kind of overhand, looping right. Um, the thing was that Trevor Bryan, although he didn't throw anything back, he was kind of sticking up his left shoulder, getting his head down, ducking a lot, uh, ducking away, getting his head... You know, it, he was showing good survival instincts. He was covering up really well. So Dubois couldn't land anything heavy. And that's pretty much all he did. You know, he just showed survival skills. But you need a bit more than that, don't you? If you're a WBA world champion, as he allegedly was. Um, and that went on for a few rounds. And gradually, obviously, Dubai is getting more into it. Um, one thing I noticed that Hatman said is that uh, Trevor Bryan might be more canny when they get close together, we know that Dubois is going to command the distance. He's got a really stiff, good jab, and he really was, you know, snapping Trevor Bryan's head back consistently. Um, but he, how I was saying, you know, maybe when they get up close, Trevor Bryan can show something else. Uh, didn't see any of that, to be honest myself. Um, Dubois was breaking away immediately, you know, using his superior power, because even though he weighed less, he was stronger. Uh, and he was breaking away, um, or the ref was breaking them, but <laughs> Trevor Brown wasn't doing anything up close. And then come the third round, and then certainly into the fourth round, when they got up close, Dubois wasn't just, you know, pulling back himself or waiting for the ref to break them, whatever. He was sticking the uppercuts, and he was shortening his punches. And then, of course, he ends it, and that, that's how he ends it, with um, Trevor Brown comes in, it's kind of a bit of a clinch, and then... Uh, Dubois throws uh, an uppercut and kind of knocks Brian back a little bit and then he lands a really powerful left hook and then as Brian falls to the canvas Dubois kind of punctuates it by swinging a right you know on his head as he's going down I don't know if it connected or not but no Dubois is a man of few words. I think he's a little bit bamboozled by Don King's speech on the American War of Independence. <laughs> well, that's 1776, you know, 4th of July stuff, and uh, General Cornwallis, and, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think, you know, I don't think Dubois knows or cares about any of that. I don't think he's, you know, studied the Battle of Yorktown. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's a boxer. <laughs> Um, and he went there, you know, to do the business and bring the strap back to the UK, as we all thought he would. Um, and Brian kind of fell to canvas. To be fair, he did try and get up, but then he kind of fell over again, and the ref rightly waved it off. So it's pretty short. You know, Don King, yeah, tacky production. Uh, apparently the um, roof was leaking in the arena. It was all a bit, you know, crabby, to be honest. Um bit weird having the Ukrainian national anthem uh, and everything decked in Ukrainian flags. Uh, and, you know, didn't think the singers were the best myself. Mind you, I was on a choppy feed, so maybe, you know, maybe they were great. It's just my feed was bad. But I do have BT Sport uh, legally, but uh, I had to watch on my phone because my daughter was asleep. Um, but, you know, um, yeah, so he brings the strap out to the UK. Interestingly, when they inter uh, interviewed uh, Shane McGuigan afterwards, they 
asked him, um, you know, what what's going to happen from now. He wants Dylan White. Um, I was hoping he was going to say, you know, we want the winner of Joshua Usyk. But he said Dylan White, uh, which sounds, I don't want to be rude, but it sounds like a bit of an easy touch, really. Because Dylan White's skillful, but we all know that his his punch resistance is gone. His head is cracked. Uh, so, not sure about myself. I was hoping they might be aiming a little higher than that. Um, but then again, he's only 24, so I guess he can do what he likes, can't he? And now he's got the strap. He's in the position to, you know, people are going to want to fight him rather than vice versa. So, you know, yeah, big up to Danny Dubois. Um, yeah, he's... He looks a bit stiff, a bit robotic. Um, I didn't like the way he was telegraphing the right hand, you know. Basically, every time he threw it, you knew that Trevor Bryan was just going to stick up his left shoulder, move his head back and duck down and cover up. And you never felt it was going to do anything. But to be fair, he was landing the jab, taking the rounds, and then he starts opening up in, in late third and then in the fourth and, you know that's when he starts, you know, hooking off the jab and just mixing up a bit. So, yeah, you know, very, I, I guess, great away boxing, really. I think if he'd really wanted to, and if it had been the game plan, he probably could have gone out in the first round, to be honest. Uh, that's how bad Trevor Bryan was. Uh, but, yeah, for all Don King's flag waving and all the rest of it, wasn't the greatest fight. It was pretty easy for Daniel Dubois. Um but uh yeah yeah another strap come back to uk can't be bad can it? it means good fights for us to watch um and i like this one the fact that it wasn't on in ungodly hours in the middle of the night so yeah all good bye bye <laughs>